That pounding rain that drenched the region earlier today has moved out, but not without leaving problems for some. We heard a number of reports of flooded basements and flooded streets right around rush hour this afternoon. Good evening, I'm Rich Funky. And I'm Leah Lando. While the worst part for some was having to drive through it, one couple in Gates has to stay somewhere else tonight because of what the rain did to their home. Lynette Adams spoke with them and joins us with their story new. That's right, Nancy Glykoff and Robert Whalen Jr. say so much water leaked into their apartment, it felt like they were standing outside. It's like I've been standing out here in the rain. Right. That's the way it came in. Nancy Glykoff was preparing dinner in her upstairs apartment when she and her husband noticed a leak in one corner of the ceiling. They caught it with a bucket, then a second and a third leak started, and before long... It was just totally raining into the whole room like there was no roof at all. The couple couldn't believe it. They called the fire department. Firefighters say the rain was gathering on the flat roof of the building and then leaking inside. I sent uh, truck five up to the roof to see if the, if it was, if the drains were plugged or not. And it was, and he reported about three and a half feet over half of the roof, which gave us concern that the whole roof was gonna give way or all that water was eventually gonna find its way into the building. Rochester Fire Lieutenant Henry Willard says it was a busy evening for firefighters handling incidents just like the one at this Buffalo Road apartment building, all of them rain-related problems. This is our fifth call just in this company alone. Uh, the whole city's been running all over. I'm sure the county is too. The losses to this couple are great. It will mean at least one night away from home. They say some of their furniture was ruined and when they get back they have a lot to clean up. Also, we just went grocery shopping, so we have a fridge and a freezer full of food. Right now, it's going Turns to get out. Were plugged on the roof. Firefighters were able to unclog them. The Red Cross is providing housing tonight for the couple. Yeah.